Aloha. Welcome to paradise. Aiea, Hawaii, just outside of Honolulu and the home of the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. A tremendous setting and a spectacular game that we have in store. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see, the winners of three straight, the Boise State Broncos, taking on the winners of three straight, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. The Broncos will get us underway with the opening kickoff. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Rainbow Warriors offense is on the field for the first time today. When this guy comes onto the field, David, he seems to bring the it factor with him. So much fun as a play caller to have a guy you depend on, you trust. You know, Palmer, you're going to get the best out of this young man. He's also one of those guys, David, who just elevates everybody else around him, right? All 10 guys in that huddle offensively just seem to play better knowing they've got confidence in this guy. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Handoff from the gun. Runs through a tackle. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Throwing right. Got his man downfield. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. The Rainbow Warriors racing to the line in the hurry-up. Dropping back, it's Shager. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 for the first down. He's got an open man. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Third and goal from way back there. From the gun, wants to pass. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. It's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen... You set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here's the return from inside his tent. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. So the Boise State Broncos offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chains. The Broncos will line it up on first and 10. Man, this offense continues to do such a great job on third down. One of the best in the country at it. Catch inside the 30 and still running. He's loose down the left side. Touchdown, Broncos. And once he got loose, it was all over. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. 
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish the drive with a 64-yard scoring toss. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You gotta get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Coming after him. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. Things working pretty well for this defense out of a dime package and still getting plenty of heat on the quarterback. Yeah, get off the rock, understand the situation. All the fast guys got the back end covered. It's my job to seek and destroy the quarterback. Great job by the defensive line rushing after that guy and getting him on the ground. And the Rainbow Warriors will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get up field, and chew up some extra yards. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. Fires to the wide out. Complete to the left. And he makes a grab. Defense draped all over him, and it's first and goal at the nine. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target. Fires the pass. Intercepted. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back to its own. Well, coming into this game, this offense knew that points were going to be at a premium. If you can't score touchdowns down here in the red zone, you at least got to come away with field goals. But you can't do that if you're throwing interceptions. That's just poor execution by the offense. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Mom. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. They'll run it from the gun. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Didn't get much. Picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. The Rainbow Warriors will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Opening play of the drive from the 39. Going to run it. It's Genty. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll try the run. Makes it past the marker. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. How aggressive will they get on first and ten? Out of the gun. The inside handoff looking for a crease. 
And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. And boy, was that pressure in his face immediately. Down he goes. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And the Broncos will punt this one away. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up fourth. And it looks as if this one's going to carry into the end zone for a touchback. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, the running back has it. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Snap it to the back. Crosses to 40. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. He's at the 10. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Hawaii. Love the play call offensively. They knew the defense were crowding a lot of bodies close to the line of scrimmage. And once they were able to get into the second level, all they had to do was make one guy miss and get one good angle. And with the speed that ball carrier has, man, that thing was a sure shot touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead in 10 to seven. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, let's recap that top five matchup that just went final moments ago. Oregon was anything but dominant today, but the Ducks are gonna leave Autzen Stadium winners. A lot to work on, no question but they avoid one in the L column. Give to the running back. Each week in college football, the tests are just so tough, although nothing compares to a top five duel. A revealing outcome with massive implications, men. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. To the air, it's Nelson. Pressure coming. He's right on target. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. Off the play fake on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. And they got him for the sack. Guys, it is Hawaii who will carry the lead to the quarter break. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. First down, Sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. The give to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Firing to the right, complete. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop de doo. You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. And back to the air on second down. 
using the quick game. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Finds his man in the middle. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. And the Rainbow Warriors come to the line with a new set of downs. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. He locked up and held on to bring him down. Here on third down for this offense. Really nice job by the defense playing responsibility football, making sure the quarterback... Oh, it's on the ground! High ball! Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. I love those smashes where you can hear it up here, Reese. Goodness gracious, you can hear the contact. Such a big lick. The offensive guy doesn't hold on to the football. Huge momentum swing. Big turnover forced by the defense. Boise State ready to send out that offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. To the air, it's Nelson. Gets it out quickly. Stopped after making the catch. Just about as basic as you can get and effective if you execute. Well executed. QB, nice job putting the football out in front of his receiver where he can advance it. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. To the ground to try to pick up the first. The Broncos get it past the sticks. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. Defense better dig in for the run. Heavy formation is there. The play action fake. Will you? And they're on him immediately. Down goes the quarterback. Well, for this defense, finally, you're seeing pressure on the quarterback. They're outside the top 50 in sacks per game. They've been waiting to find some more consistent pressure to help them win games, and they're getting it in this game now. Three sacks on the day. They're just simply winning and doing a better job executing up front at the point of attack. Wide receiver shows motion. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Got his man on the right. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Handoff from the shotgun. Got the first down and more. And that first defender was just waving at him after that sweet move. He picked up the first down. They'll throw it from the red zone. Unleashes one deep. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. That last drive and the turnover, not what you're looking for when you have the lead, Jesse. Yeah, and really, I think for them, it's just staying out of their own way. They're making plays. They've got the playmakers to go and win this game, so it's just a matter of executing better, David. Yeah, executing better, understanding I still got the lead. Put a drive together here and build on that lead. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. QBs, when you see zone covers, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. 
You had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. This time they'll go to the running game. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. The Rainbow Warriors get enough for the first down. This drive's been productive so far. Already picked up a couple of first downs, now out close to midfield. Looking downfield, it's Shager. Time to take a shot. Makes a catch at the 20. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And the Rainbow Warriors headed quickly to the line. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go. The football had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Looking for a gap. It's Sims. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Second down coming up. The inside handoff. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Going for six. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Warriors. Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. And they went out and looked so good on that last drive. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he's coming out of the end zone. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Scanning the field, it's Nelson. He makes the connection. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Oh, my. Circle, circle. Spinderella put him in the spin cycle and picked up the first down. Looking to go up top on first down. Unloads it downfield. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. Now facing a third and long. Off play action. Unloads to the right. Complete downfield. Off he goes. He's got the sidelines going nuts as he gets it down to the 18-yard line. And the Broncos want to pick up the tempo. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. He'll pull it on the read. And the ball squirted out. And they were lucky that fumble went out of bounds. They'll maintain possession. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to it. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. A first down run on the doorstep. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Boise State! 
Bring in the extra beef. It's goal line. I know what I'm going to get. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to be bigger, stronger at the point of attack and push you around. And then the running back does the rest and finds the end zone. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's recap that ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup that has just gone final. Colorado found a way to rescue victory from the jaws of defeat. A prime example of just how strong this program is. All about stacking wins there in Boulder. It's caught! Really unexpected outcome in this ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup. The type of loss, guys, that'll get the attention of even a good football team. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Fires it incomplete. This offense has a second down play. Looking for a man. It's Shager. They're trying to get to him. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Back to the air one more time. He'll pull it down and run. This senior quarterback never afraid to run it when he has to pick up a first down. The Rainbow Warriors come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Gonna let it fly. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. Line getting set on second down. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Quickly complete. Nice pick up there, gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45 yard line. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. They cross midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. He lets one fly deep. Grabs it inside the 15. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Hawaii. Nice pitch and catch. This receiver and quarterback have done this thousands of times. Finds the open man, throws a strike. The receiver does the rest, gets into the end zone. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So an 82-yard drive there. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And, and he breaks into the open. Flips the field in an instant, and he has it down to the 25-yard line. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. He'll come out throwing on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. After the incompletion, back to a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Broncos! Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing him go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch and he does it in a big moment here in this game. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So they got the touchdown, now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. The returner will field it and bring it back. 
just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. They've got time. They've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Had to get rid of it quickly. Another incompletion on third down. And the Rainbow Warriors decide to punt it away. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. They'll get this drive started from their own 45-yard line. Looking to throw, it's Nelson. Fires to the middle. Finds the big tight end. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. Now second and 10. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On second down, wants to throw it. Wide open downfield. The offense will quickly use a timeout. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. And it's caught! Touchdown, BSU! Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. On the ground, it's Sims. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Running back searching for a hole. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Men, nice to see you actually showed up for today's broadcast in paradise, given all there is to do there in Honolulu. These two defenses have really been up to the task so far, and it's hard to ignore how each of these two secondaries have impacted things. They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. And with that, let's say aloha once again to the guys inside Aloha Stadium. The Rainbow Warriors will line up to kick off and start the second half. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Good quickness to grab it off the deflection. And that completion good for a short game, but they still have some work to do to pick up the first down. Oh, how that would have swung the momentum, but instead it's just a deflection and they give up another completion. And Reese, we hear it all the time. It's a game of inches. Look how close that was to changing this game for the defense creating some momentum, trying to get back into it, and the offense gets the big break. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. 
Back to throw, it's Nelson. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. Not a lot on the return, but they can win with that as they've got it at the 49. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. You still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Free snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Sims. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And, and my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He didn't that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. It's a draw. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And the fourth down pass falls incomplete, and they'll have to give up the football. On first down, here comes this offense. Man, that is a big-time drop right there. Fourth down, opportunity to catch it, maybe get the first down. That is, that is tough to swallow, but as a QB, I got to walk over to him and say, listen, dude, we're going to need you later on. I still believe him. Just feeds the running back. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Short throw to the sideline is complete, and it'll be enough for the first down. The Broncos have it with a first and ten. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Using that running game to bludgeon forward, he's got four down to the 35. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Dropping back, it's Nelson. A little screen to the running back. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And the Broncos are moving quickly down the field. They didn't get too greedy there. They knew what they needed, and he gets it. Throws toward the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. Offense working from the pistol. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling the rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. Haven't seen a lot of balls fall incomplete, especially deep down the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. On second down, he's looking downfield. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. They've been great on third down. Now to finish the deal on first and goal. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Give him six. Touchdown, Broncos. And the offense slips the running back out of the backfield. Nobody decides to cover him. My man makes the play. Shows off the hands first. Got to make the catch first. Does the rest. Walks in the end zone for the touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. NC State delivered the knockout blow early in this one, en route to the type of win that can turn some heads there in the ACC. Trust me when I say the party is on in Raleigh. 
The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Tackled at the 29. Let's give him five on that one. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. It's a nice run there to get the first down. I got to tell you, I'm impressed with the stable of backs and the weapons this offense has. A lot of different guys can touch the football in a variety of ways, but they've been running it very, very well in this game so far. Going up top on first down. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Offense gets set for second down. There's nothing better than being a defensive lineman in a defense period that pressure the quarterback, that gets hits on him, that make him feel uncomfortable, especially when you come into their belt and you get everybody really, really quiet. That's a great feeling. And the Rainbow Warriors moving quickly to the line. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and 12. On the run. It's Shager. Gets it out fast. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step. Deep shot for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Rainbow Warrior. Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, th th that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field. And my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. Now they'll try the two-point conversion and try to crawl within three. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He's not going to make it in, and the decision to go for two does not work out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Give to the back. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And he'll be marked down right there, still short of the first down. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? The Broncos have it with a first and ten. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. And the Broncos are flying down the field. They keep attacking through the air. On target to the left. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. They've hit him with back-to-back -back chunk plays. Now it's first and goal. Quarterback on the keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Can the defense stop him again on second and goal? And how about the aggressiveness of this defense? I love this. Don't let him get to the sideline. Zone. Touchdown, Boise State! Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. And after the extra point, they're on top by 12. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on that. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They've clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Leaves it with the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. The Rainbow Warriors will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. The Bronco offense back out there, ready to give it another spin. Back to throw, it's Nelson. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire, now on second down. It's a draw. Makes one man miss. Found that crease, and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the 32. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Dumps it to the back. Got the quick pass. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Leaves it with the running back. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points, and now they get the first. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. Ready to try the point after. And no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Quick strike complete. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. The throw to the outside is complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. To throw, it's Shager. Throws to the wideout. Pulls it in. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they got it at the 42. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's... Gets away from one, finds some space. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. They want to just keep throwing it. Got his man quickly. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. On second down, wants to throw. 
It's caught downfield. Knocked down at the 24-yard line, but it's a big game. 15 yards on the play, and this offense is in business. And this QB has been on top of it. He's, he's made good reads, you could tell, taking care of the football, put up a lot of yards. He's over 350 on the day now. Run in the red zone, it's Sims. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. They'll try to get the first through the air. He finds his man. Defense knocks him down immediately after the catch, but now they're facing a goal-to-go -go situation from the seventh. Now on the move. Perfect time. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Hawaii! It's just so nice to have a signal caller who can make plays through the air and make plays with his feet like this. Runs in for the touchdown. The defense knows I have to account for him every play. That's my quarterback. The AT unit on the field. Smashes it through for the PAT. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Rutgers is going to walk off the field there in Piscataway with a much-needed victory. They had this one circled on the calendars for some time, and regardless the score, that W has to feel good. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But, boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. you got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew, I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds. And the pressure was in his grill in an eyelash. And I think if you're the head coach here, you, you've kind of got mixed reviews on your passing attack so far because, yes, you've thrown for a bunch of yards and you've thrown a couple touchdowns, but you've also given up four sacks now. Pass protection has not been great, even though they've got the lead in this game. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Back to pass, it's Nelson. Got him downfield. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. The Broncos will hustle to the line. And at this point, the defense looks as if they've been in one of those dizzy bat races. They've got no idea where the ball's coming from. He's over 500 yards passing. Yeah, this is a Heisman Trophy-level performance from this guy. The accuracy, the decision-making, the athleticism, everything has been on display. Trying to find his man on first down. Grabs it in the middle. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And the Broncos come to the line with a new set of downs. This is so interesting right now watching this off. Got some room in it to the goal line. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, BSU! They add on another one, and they're about to push their record to 5-1. and one. Now you know why you do all of those squats, all of those deadlifts, extra time in the weight room. No doubt. Get that lower body strength so you can just shed people off of you. What a great job smelling the end zone and getting in. Lining up to add another. And no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. How about that last drive just carved him up in the air, David? Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Not able to hook up the air incomplete. 
Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. He's got it. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. It's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance. And I mean, you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. And they did right there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to throw. It's Shager. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Fires to the wideout. Finds his man, and they convert. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. They got to give this quarterback a ton of credit because he showed tremendous confidence on that throw. That wasn't just trying to throw to the sticks. That was being aggressive and throwing it down the field. Not a high percentage throw, but he had confidence in his guy to win one-on-one, -on -one and they keep the drive alive. And the Rainbow Warriors are on the move. Looking to move it through the air. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. That last completion sets him up on second down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Trying to get to it. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. And it's going to be batted down. They'll turn it over on downs. Offense getting set for first down. Listen, with the aggressiveness of offenses and taking chances, a lot of times it's going to put your defense in a hole. And this defense is going to have to come through in the clutch right here because you're trailing. They can't get more scores. They got to get a stop on this possession, and the offense is going to have to do better than they just did. And with a lead like they have here in the fourth quarter, no question this offense is going to continue trying to pound the rock. They're going to run the football and try to ice this game. He'll throw on third down. Find his man down the middle. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. The Broncos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll go to the ground. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Here comes the offense on second down. When we get to the offseason and they start having coaching clinics, they're going to roll this game tape back to show both offenses. Dial it up and let it run. I mean, that's essentially what we saw in this game. It didn't matter what either offensive coordinator was calling. Everything seemed to work through throwing the football in the intermediate passing game, the RPOs, the run game. David, this was just clinical offensive football. And offenses have evolved so much. They can do so many different things, and they know how to use their playmakers, get speed and space, make those big plays. So that's why offenses are ahead of defenses in this game.